Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our new Blacklist discussion. Good morning to Good morning. all. Good morning. We've got some Grounds and Hounds here. We're kind of charging up. It's not sponsored. We just really love Grounds and Hounds. Yeah, and we, we love it. We need caffeine, like, let's be honest. Especially for the topic today, because this is one that we've wanted to talk a little bit more about, but we just, we needed to do some research on it. We have seen it in the comments over and over and over again. Yeah. Can Samar return? And we do have some theories on that. Yeah, we, we you know, we really got out all of our research equipment. We, like, you know, hit the pavement here. We tried to track down some information, like, is this possible what role could she have and yeah google is our friend That's so we right. we have figured some stuff out if she could return yeah like let's i guess start things off here first and foremost with a refresher for those who need it so mosey and marno who plays this character she mm -hmm. left you know it's been a couple of years at this point now and she departed because she was being hunted down by like, the osterman umbrella company the still the worst named highest ranked blacklister ever yeah and because they are high highly ranked yeah. i mean is it possible then that we might be able to see her again i think the answer is yes I think the answer is yes, too. I, I, I would be shocked if we did not see Samar in some shape or form before the blacklist is over. Okay, before we get into all the sort of detective work we did and yes. everything that we found out, please hit that subscribe button. We yeah. do videos every Tuesday, every Friday for Blacklist. And we're going to, of course, be here during Season 9 as well. So hit that subscribe button and don't miss out. And also, don't miss out on our Instagram at Matt and Jess TV. You know, we mentioned I'm about to do a great stretch here. Okay, here we, we go. We talked about grounds and hounds yeah, earlier. Yeah. We have a hound in Coco Vanderwolf, who's not technically a hound, but she's a dog. Just go with me. We have pictures of Coco all over the Instagram. Oh, you must have really hurt a muscle with that stretch. I, I, that, I, is a, uh, that is a stretch. All uh, right. Okay. See, I'm all doing right, all, right. all right. Okay. So. Okay, so why did the actress leave in the first place? She left back in 2019 and she said that she left because she wanted to do some other things. She wanted to have other projects. She didn't want to only be known as Samar. Yeah, and I, I get that. Like, this is basically the reason why a lot of people leave shows after a long period of time. It may be the reason why Megan ended up leaving earlier this year. You know, people want to, you go into acting to do different things. Yeah, and you don't want to get pigeonholed into something where you're Chandler Bing for the rest of your life, or you're Michael Scott for the rest of your life, or you're Dexter forever. Like, you don't want to be in that type of a spot. Yeah. However, Samar's very important to this show. She's a very beloved character on this show. Yeah. But I think, personally, and please don't come for me in the comments, that the Samar character is not on the same level of being, like iconic to Chandler Bing, where even yeah. if you don't watch Friends, you know who that is. Where if you don't watch The Blacklist, you don't know who Samar is. She is beloved to us. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think it's more than fine that well, they could come back, she could play Samar again and still do some other, and still be able to do other things. Like, you yeah. know, in the time she's been off, you know, I, I saw her in a couple of episodes of The Affair. She was really good mm -hmm. over there. So she's tackled a couple of different projects. Yeah, she has, and she's she's great. It's just over the past few years, she hasn't landed a role that is as in-depth as Samar. She's had, you know, a couple episodes here on some shows, a couple episodes there on some miniseries. Like, she's had roles, but it hasn't been in the same capacity as, you know, doing 22 episodes in a year. So what we really tried to, like, figure out and hammer down here is, like, would there be something that would come up that would keep her from actually being able to come back to the blacklist? And what we sort of figured out, and this is according to a Deadline report from this summer, that mm -hmm. she is working on a series <laughs> adaptation of a book entitled The Stationery Shop, and it has a, an executive producer from Insecure looped in here as well. So she's going to be doing some writing. I wasn't clear if she's going to be acting in this project at all, but I, I know this can be a pretty intensive thing because, you know, development takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of resources, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily think that it's necessarily, I know I just said that twice, but it's not all encompassing, I don't think. No, I think that there are ways for her to do both. And so obviously we have 
a no leading lady going on on blacklist yeah. anymore. So Megan is gone. That also means that that salary is gone. So that also means that they could put all that money in a truck and drive it over <laughs> to her house to be like, hey, do you want to come back? Now, I'm not saying that she should or would come back full time. I mean, that is a lot. If she if she's on this other project and she wants to do writing for this other project, then she needs to just have time for that. So the way that she would be able to have time to do both is if she didn't come back for the full, you know, full season, every single episode, but maybe came back for like 10 episodes during a season, something like that. Or they filmed it in a way where either it's like, we'll do all of Samar's stuff for say her 10 episodes all in one batch and then she has a big batch of time off. Or if she wants to do both projects together, they can do like, okay, we'll film an episode with Samar here. We'll give her a week or two off here, then another episode here, and then a little more time to write here. There's ways to do this where she can have a much larger role back on the show again and still do this other project. She, I mean, I think she lives in New York. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I can't imagine her being incapable of coming back and doing something like that. I think it just comes down to whether or not she wants to revisit the show, wants to revisit the character. And I just think at this point, Reddington needs allies. The task force needs allies. She's got a history with everyone on the show. She's sort of a perfect go-between. And beyond all of that... I still believe in love on this show, despite the fact that no relationship ever seems to work out and usually involves someone dying. Like, I still want to see her and Aram together. Oh, for sure. And I mean, we have seen leading people do this before. Like, over on Hawaii Five-0, which is, you know, no longer on, yeah. we saw Scott Kahn do this as well, where he was not in every single episode. One of the things that he... I guess negotiated into his contract is that he wanted to be able to have time off to be with his family and they yeah. were like okay we will figure out a way to make that happen and they did so there's ways to work this out i mean samara is not the lead so she can come back in that capacity they figured it out for megan boone she was gone for like eight episodes <laughs> yeah I, I i think there's scheduling wise i don't think there's going to be an issue here and the biggest just the biggest story concern I have with her coming back is just simply the fact that, you know, her memory was deteriorating and that she was struggling <laughs> with a lot of things. Where is she going to be with all of this now? Like, this could be really, really sad. And I don't want to live in a world where it's sad. I want them to find a way to make this work. They can make this work. I feel like Reddington's illness is going to go, woo! <laughs> gone and they'll just be wiped out and so we can do the same thing with Samar. <laughs> Whatever her issues are that are going on with the memory, they can all be fixed. Just a little bit of writing and it's all done. Yeah, it, it, this is the world of the blacklist. Anything is possible. We've seen like bugs come out of people's mouths and swarms. We've seen DNA manipulation. Like who's to say it couldn't happen? Absolutely. Now here's the thing is she hasn't ever said that she's never coming back or she yeah. would never return. This isn't like, you know, Michael C. Hall said that he would never come back and do Dexter again and look what's happening in November. And, you know, <laughs> Steve Carell said he would never be Michael Scott ever again. Yeah. And then, spoiler alert, he came back again for an episode at the end of The Office. Like, I, never say never. It, yeah. it really is open. I This is sort of what I feel in my gut is going to eventually happen with Samar. Because I think the, the dream would be... You know, we get her for a big batch of episodes. She becomes a big part of the show again. I'm trying to not set myself up for disappointment here. So I think what we'll probably see happen is whenever the show ends, I don't know if it's going to be season 9, season 10, whatever. I think they will find a way to bring her back for a little bit of time. They, you know, they don't have a rom with anybody anymore because that old Elodie storyline just disappeared into a void. So I think they're going to set something up so that they can have a reunion and the Blacklist will finally do something they very rarely do, which is make everyone happy with a relationship. Speaking of setting up, I'm going to set myself up for a giant fall oh, because boy. the <laughs> thing that I feel should happen and could happen, knowing what we know about the actress's schedule, uh, that she has had roles here and there, but you know, nothing that's going to take up so much time. I'm going to be on the island of they need a 
female lead or supporting character. They need someone who's really loved by the fan base because yeah. while there's a lot of people that didn't like Liz, there's a lot of us that did and a lot of us that really loved her and loved her being part of the show. And losing a major character, their leading lady, yeah. I feel like the show knows that it needs it needs some R. It needs to bring back somebody that is beloved by everybody. Everybody loves some R. So you want to sort of dampen what yeah. happened over here with Megan Boone leaving the show? You bring back some R. And I think, I think that it's something that at the very least, even if it doesn't happen, I think that they've been in some sort of talks about it. Even if they haven't been in talks with her, I think that that's floating around where they're just like, how are we going to pad this? Yeah. How are people going to get past what happened with Megan? And then John leaving. Oh, I know. I We'll bring back some more. <laughs> They have to have at least introduced the topic to her. I would be really, really shocked if she doesn't. And I, I'll admit, when Samar first came on, I wasn't sure about her at first. Like, it took me, like, maybe, like, five or six episodes to get on board. But now I'm, like, all in, and I'm going to be really sad if she doesn't. As a matter of fact, I, I need this so badly. I think it is time to do Samar, 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 to Come on, Samar. Okay, make this happen. Okay, let, let me hear from you guys on some of this stuff. How do you think Samara could return? Do you think that Mozan will want to come back at this point in the show's run? Give us all your thoughts on this in the comments. And if you guys do like this video, hit that subscribe button. Check out our Instagram, Matt and Jess TV. We have new Blacklist discussions every Tuesday, every Friday. Yep. We'll see you guys here next time.